We have to, to get these carbon dioxide emissions down by 2050. By 2050, of the houses that will be in existence there, somewhere between 60 and 70 percent, maybe higher if we slow down, are already built. If we're going to make energy efficient houses, we have to deal with the existing housing stock and we have to start fairly soon. So the first thing you do is start with the fabric of the building. It's important that you waste as little heat as possible. That means better insulation, covering up the drafts, making sure the windows are uh, very, very efficient. You can actually recycle the, uh, the heat that's produced in a house to make sure it doesn't get lost. That can save sometimes 80% of the heating bill. Uh, two things we have to do, we have to measure what the energy efficiency was before we convert them, that gives us a baseline, and then we have to measure the energy efficiency immediately after use, and then how actually it saves real people real money. Retrofit for the Future is an innovation platform, so we're seeing some really interesting technologies coming through. Good uh, systems using mechanical ventilation and heat recovery. We're seeing various types of internal and external wall insulation using natural fibres, such as wood fibres. It's really important to test baseline before and after the retrofit process. The way we do this is do an air tightness test where we seal up the house and pump it full of air. We then walk around the house with a smoke pencil and we can see the areas where the air is being forced out the house. And also we do thermal imaging so we can see the hot and cold spots of the home and we can then tell the builders which of the areas of the house need to be treated and look at those in detail to make sure that they are done correctly. We're investing £17 million across the country on 80 or so projects to build prototype retrofitted houses. We're using the latest technology to show how you can make a dramatic improvement to the energy efficiency of these houses. Then we show that the market's there. This will reduce the costs of all of this technology, make it even more economically viable in the future.